Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. I decided to give a look into the Mercury LMG in this video here, even though I decided not to do it because the new hero that was supposed to make him work was really broken right now, but I decided anyway to give this weapon a shot with a lot of different heroes to look into how the weapon works on its own with different heroes instead of focusing on the review based on the hero that is supposed to be like really awesome in regards to making it work because this is a weapon that can be used by everyone. It is a ranged assault weapon. I'm going obsidian with it because I have loads of shadow shot weapons and it's a pretty interesting weapon. The perks on this weapon looked pretty much like junk at glance. 10% additional damage, 14% rate of fire, 21% crit chance, weapon stability and if you hit things enough times in a row it's gonna cause a small explosion. So that looks pretty junky. It's a light machine gun meaning that the like the bullets are gonna be dealing a tiny amount of damage each time you fire it. So what is it about this weapon that makes it good? Well, all right. It has a huge magazine size, 100 ammunition in the barrel, meaning that you can point at something, hold down your fire button, and you're just gonna be killing stuff like crazy. It is, however, fairly inaccurate when you move around and change between targets, and it deals energy damage, firing energy ammunition, and that's a bad thing. This is the main reason why I don't recommend you guys actually use this weapon, even though you should buy it because it's pretty fun. The first character that I tested out the weapon was with my master grenadier my favorite character in the game not because she deals more damage than anyone else but she is super casual for all-round gaming because of her crazy grenades in regards to using this weapon she doesn't have that much relative to boost it up she deals an additional 25% damage maximum with the debilitating shot so that is like the best you can get out of her in terms of extra damage with the advanced tactics and the debilitating shots and the reason why I'm just including this here is so you guys have a bit of an idea about how the different heroes I have tested the weapon out with work. My first shots with the weapon, it was not really that high power level here, power level 71 weapon. This was like my first testing of it just to get a feel about how it was before I leveled it up further and evolved it to get a feel about what is the recoil on it, how much does the weapon move around when I'm shooting, how long time does it take to unload the entire barrel, all that kind of stuff, just getting a good feel about it. It was super fun to test out but I kind of felt like I was going bankrupt each time I hit the fire button because it's just like it's eating bacon. The second character I chose to play with was the support specialist here, the Marine Corps Ramirez. She was once one of my favorite characters, but they changed her abilities. Previously, you could use her to not lose any durability on your explosive weapons while under the influence of Warcry. So that was really, really crazy cool and amazing. The support specialist here comes pretty close to what I wanted to test out the weapon with at first, in that you have the debilitating shots, of course, you have, so that is 15% additional damage. You have 10% from the normal soldier perk that alone is a good thing but we have also the war cry ability that really boosts up your damage further and you have a chance to regain a great deal of ammunition when you're firing so this is a character that you can use a hero you can use to play with and regain some of all that ammo that we really kind of need when we're using the bacon or the energy ammunition so that's a cool thing and she boosts up the max size of the weapon as well as she has increased reload speed so she's also a pretty cool all-round weapon just for reference this here is what it's going to be costing you to make a dose of energy ammunition 80 ammo as an almost one mag well half actually if you boost it up completely one bacon batteries gunpowder and nuts and bolts so it's like really really expensive to make especially if you're just going to be unloading this weapon with increased fire rate then you can just feel that bacon burn away like crazy she is a really cool hero to play this weapon with i feel it is a fun weapon to play when you have an even further boosted max size on it because it is almost like going commando but while you have the option to actually not go commando and use your abilities, heal, swap weapons, that kind of stuff in between. But regardless, in terms of the actual weapon, works out like a charm with almost any character. I feel you want to be playing this weapon here when you have some type of ammo recovery, but a lot of the bad things I have to say about this weapon are really related to the fact that it uses energy ammunition. Another thing that I could go into is the fact that it doesn't really knock things back at such, it doesn't really stagger them. It's like firing like balls of light, so you're not really pushing things that much back and staggering them which is something I normally like to have in the weapons I use like as main weapons. I'm giving you guys loads of different shots with the weapon with the different characters against different types of opponents and this time around we're going to be digging into it with Rescue Trooper Ramirez another one of my really like favorite kind of soldiers that I play a great deal with. When using the new weapon with this hero here we of course have the 10% increased damage we have the debilitating shots but we also have recoil to take into consideration and increased reload speed 
we have survivalist i feel that is an important thing ammo recovery increased assault weapon damage you guys know this stuff here from love ranger jonesy and again an increased ammo capacity of the weapon so we're stepping up around 49 percent damage and ammo recovery increased clip size and of course reduced recoil a really cool all-around character that you guys can play around with if you have her or like you can also love ranger jonesy it fun to play and for this weapon here you really get that point and kill kind of feeling because you have a very stable weapon given the perks on the weapon and perks on the hero you have a huge max size so if you have an army in front of you and you are standing still or if you're defending a fort you can really do pretty freaking awesome with a clip filled of energy ammunition with this hero here that is without a doubt the huge max size on this weapon here also makes it pretty fun to use in relation to things such as rescuing survivors because you can position yourself on a corner on a vehicle and you can take out at least two of the sides on the vehicle just holding down your kill button keeping the weapon pretty steady within like headshot range of the opponent and if you see husky husks in there they're gonna cause an explosion because they need to take multiple hits from the weapon before they go down triggering the ability perk option on the weapon that causes an explosion when you hit an opponent multiple times in a row so it's a really fun weapon to play around with when you're up against slightly tougher opponents i feel that is actually where it shines the most of course you can laser cut through weak opponents with it but you really want to get this explosion option going off it as well if you want to get the most out of the perks that come with the weapon and they are pretty junk in themselves i feel up against something such as a smasher here and a horde of other opponents gently tickling a survivor i don't know how he can survive but he's there he's surviving so i'm like not in the rush to rescue this dude here because i mean he's doing pretty well considering what things are on top of him but against opponents such as this here you can really see a power level 100 non-element smasher up against this energy weapon here with this hero i am using you know the tickling it a little bit with a grenade using my shockwave also to get some stay out of trouble feeling with it but besides that you can pretty easily take down these huge opponents with beep loads of like health on them with this weapon with like no huge problems is what i feel anyway moving on to the bullet storm jonesy the character i wanted to try it out with he's currently broken he's gonna be freaking awesome with this weapon when he is working again i'm just throwing the ball over to rage brothers if you guys want to know how he's broken and why i'm gonna be posting a link down there but like the summary recap on how amazing he's going to be with this weapon here in total we're looking at 75 percent potential damage burst and and 88% increased speed and ammo recovery wow with an increased clip size and this here is of course under the duration or effect of war cry because that alone boosts up with 40 percent damage and 40 percent attack speed you add that to the debilitating shots you add that to the startup to all the goodies it really comes down to a dude that is supposed to be able to point at something with this huge laser gun and just unload bullets like you have no freaking idea how it's going to be cutting through everything i was really looking forward to digging into that combination because when you have have things up and running under the effect of war cry with this guy i mean we're not going to be seeing shots we're just going to be seeing a ray of death and destruction coming out from this weapon here so unfortunately i can't share that stuff with you guys we're going to try to do like the second best right around the corner because i have been fooling around with this weapon here with a beep load of different characters just including the highlights and some of the most interesting character options i feel in this video here of course but once again exploding options aiming for the head with it of course is always a good Good idea because we have increased headshot damage in the game and the fact that this weapon is relatively stable is something that also allows you to keep your damage relatively focused in the face range if you have opponents that share the same height if you're up against dolphies then yeah it's not really that effective because you're going to be moving the weapon around quite a bit and that really breaks the stability of it so it's a great weapon to use when you are standing still but it's not that good when you're maneuvering around the next hero weapon combination we're going to be looking into is the queen of damage the urban assault headhunter probably the meta soldier in the game right now even more efficient than the master grenadier she has crazy damaging options it is unbelievable how amazing she is there is a reason why end game players go with her or a dragon it's because she's freaking awesome you want to be headshotting with her so the boosts i'm including for her are based on you actually doing that because when you headshot with her you gain an increased fire rate as in speed of attacks and with her make it rain 
and rain faster options those are the ones related to it you get up to 50 percent increase so it is almost the same as having a passive wall cry on you it gives 40 percent this year gives 50. her debilitating shots really have a boost as well meaning that they are going to be having five stacks of nine percent that's 45 percent additional damage with effect from the debilitating shots and she has a 10 percent damage from being a soldier so a total of 50 percent speed and 55 percent increased damage when you headshot things and you have the vulnerability stacks on so that does not of course apply to the first shot you kind of need to get the headshot bonus going and you need the debilitating shots to be stacked up but with a weapon that deals little damage per bullet and that just unloads bullets like crazy you build up these debilitating shot vulnerability stacks really really fast and it's not going to be hard for you to land a headshot when you're just spraying bullets away like crazy which means that with the urban assault headhunter and the mercury lmg you also have a really 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 nice setup for doing some crazy damage and taking advantage of the perks of the weapon she is all in all one of the best heroes out there i feel also i don't play that much with her because for me gaming is pretty casually so when i'm doing my normal missions i go grenade and i don't need that burst damage but if you're going to be in a pinch situation if you're going to be challenging yourself out with cool games then yeah you might actually want to be pulling out this lmg here with something such as the urban assault headhunter because she can truly go commando with this here as well of course as her ability and you need to remember with every hero you have every soldier or any other hero you have that doesn't have the war cry ability they can also be under the effect of war cry abilities from others the war cry ability soldiers a lot of people love them i don't like have anything bad to say about them i'm not good at remembering to use it but if you have a character such as the urban assault headhunter you can be boosted up by another war cry as well really adding to what you can do with that hero that guys was what i had to share about the mercury lmg weapon that is in the event store right now i think it's too expensive to use due to the crafting cost requiring bacon but besides that it's a really really fun weapon that you can have beep loads of craziness with also combined with a lot of different heroes that was what i had to share in this video guys i hope you enjoyed as always thank you very much and very much for watching